Hi, this is Janne Karp from the Animate development team. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to get started with Animate and Cinema 4D. So to get started you need to get the Cinema 4D plugin for Animate. And that can be found in the Animate.com website from the official plugin section. And from there you choose Cinema 4D. And here in the uh, side panel we have the plugin. So let's download that. And I'll save it to the folder on my desktop, which I have uh, open here. Now, we all we need to do is simply extract this package to the Cinema 4D plugin folder, which in my case is on the D drive. And here's the plugins directory. Simply click OK and extract. Now we can launch, launch Cinema 4D. And now we can find the animate receiver here in the plugins menu. So let's start that up and let's also start animate. Now the first thing to always check is to make sure that the, the OSC port in the plugin is the same as in animate. So let's check the OSC tab and yep the ports are the same. Now in the default settings uh, there's also quantized data and exact data enabled, but we're not going to use those, we're only interested in the skeleton data. And you should also make sure that the skeleton format is the basic one. Now, here we can see that all the different joints will have different names, and the only thing you need to do in order to move things in Cinema 4D is to make sure that an object name matches uh, the one in Animate. So let's, for example, create a cube. And let's start receiving OSC data. Now this object's name is uh, cube. So let's for example set the right hand to be named cube. Apply the changes. Now if I move so that the Kinect can see me, I can immediately start moving the cube. Now if I want to uh, start up from a clean slate without any pre-created objects. All I need to do is uh, uh, enable this create nulls based on received data. And now if I start moving again, so the skeleton can be seen, all the skeleton joints are created as null objects. If I want to actually record the motion, I'll just have to make sure that there's enough timeline to capture all the motions. And I'll enable the record locations button and simply click play. When I want to stop recording, I'll simply click pause and now I can play back the motions. Now, if I'd want to move this uh, movement to another location, all I need to do is select all these objects here, which were recorded, and simply select Group Objects. Now I can just move the null wherever I want, or rotate it however I want, and play back the animation at another point. Now the next step would be to actually start using this with the rig, and that can be done for example, by simply mapping the joints to the null objects via constraints. But I think that will have to be another tutorial then. So I hope you'll have fun playing with Animate and Cinema 4D. And thanks for watching.